Oh. Uh, oh my god. Oh my- Oh my god. Whoa. Pump and ugly. That's not a good reaction. What the fuck is this? There's some gamers in that chat. Lost control of another guild. It's almost like- It's almost like I told you this would happen. So, I'm the acting GM of the Olympus Forsaken guild. Which is really the refugee guild following the mass kick that happened. So, essentially, the former GM was never on, and many of us were starting to actually progress to the point where we wanted to start raiding. Many yep. people wanted him to give up his position so that we actually had a GM that was actually doing GM things. And, and there was one in particular guy that we wanted to be our GM called Lentris. Who yeah, the man actually really capable. Yeah, yeah, he's fantastic and he just knows what he's doing. Um, but yeah, the good news is that he came online, the GM. The bad news is that when he came online, he got mad and kicked everyone and didn't disband the guild. So worst case scenario possible out of all possible outcomes. So I he's holding the guild hostage after kicking everybody else yeah. out of the guild. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, GM. that's what I'm curious about is like, how the fuck is, so the guild oh, yeah. master, where is he in all this? Why did he do this? Did he like... I mean, do you guys say anything to him, or like, what, what, what caused him to this? <laughs> yeah, um, he received a lot of mail. He, um, you might relate to this. He got a lot of mail, and he had many, many, many letters given how many days he was off for. So he came back to a lot of letters saying, "Please go away. Please let uh, Lentris yeah. take over." He didn't respond to that well. He started calling people no lifers, saying it's a joke. They can just leave his guild if they don't like it. Um, he got a full spasmoid. Yep, yep, and um, then purged. Okay. I had a chance to talk to him earlier in the whispers, and I asked him if he would pass the guild leader to somebody else. Right. He said no. Uh, I asked him Why if he would disband the guild. Uh, he said that uh, it's his guild, and he's going to be the only member from now on. Yeah, um, and I, my understanding is he's not even interested in gold. Or yeah, he's not, I offered he just, him. I offered him three hundred gold, and he said no. Like this and, guy's just pissed. Yeah, and I, I asked him if he was dis disband the guild. He said no, and I asked him if there was something bothering him, like if his home life was okay. And then he told me to kill myself. Uh, so we took that as a no. Yeah, I, I took that as a no. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why. Uh, that makes sense. Okay. But anyway, so... So! Oh, go ahead. Uh, you lost another guild, huh? Lost control of another guild. It's almost like... It's almost like I told you this would happen. It's, it's kind of weird how I predicted that this issue would happen again. That's so insane to me. Uh... Huh. Anyway. Carry on. Well, you know what? Maybe it wouldn't have happened if you had helped in the guild and you weren't just sitting there leveling a horde tune. Mr. Co-GM. I'm not Co-GM. What? Since when have I ever been co-GM? All I did was come up with a name. You're in charge of the fucking sister guilds and who becomes officer and all this other shit. This is all on you, buddy. Okay. Yeah, there was an idea one of us had. You could have a dummy character. It's kind of like the canary in that. No, I know what you're episode, saying. Because they had the power plant. And then have a co-GM, which has all the same powers, but can't mass kick everyone. I mean, there's not a big way to prevent mass kicking, because you need to have your officers with the ability to kick. Here's the thing. Yeah. Is that... I, I think that we should focus on... We should focus on figuring out a way to get the guild back. And the negotiation and the compromise that I'm willing to make with the current guild master is that I will be the GM of the guild and him and Lintris can both be co-GMs. 
and they can run the guild well, at the same time. Well, the issue with that is this guy, because I, yeah, I talked to Jigsaw at the beginning of the last Olympus 9 drama, and I talked to Shadow Suit, and they seem to have entirely different motives. Uh -huh. While Jigsaw's motive seems to be based in um, being the biggest retard on the server, yes. uh, Shadow Suit's motives seem to be uh, a lot more uh, a, lo a lot more evil. You know, I, I think he just wants the guild for himself. You know, he, he doesn't want to give away power. He doesn't want your gold. He doesn't want anything material. He doesn't even want attention. He just wants the guild. He wants the name. He's basically just an idiot. Yeah. That's fair. This is like the Joker. Yeah. Yes. Good film, by the way. You should go see that. No spoilers. No spoilers. No, no. Okay. You should go see it. So... I, I, I don't know what to do about this, but I feel like that's probably the smartest way of approaching it. Uh, like that that's probably the smartest way of approaching it because that way we can give him we can give him something and he can still be GM. It's just that I because it's like you, he doesn't want to be the king of nothing. I mean, he wants to have people in the guild. so he, he kicked them all out. so yeah, but he's obviously having a mental breakdown. Right, I mean, it's obviously having a mental breakdown. Like th this is what's going on, uh, and so it's like now that we know this is happening, it's like okay, this is fine because we know what what's what's going on. So I think how do we approach the mental breakdown is the real question. In my opinion, I think the way that we approach it is this: we go in there and we say, listen, you know, we appreciate everything that you've done for the guild, but what we need to do is we need to get the guild back, and we need to make sure that we can make uh make Olympus four great again. And how do we do that? It's pretty fucking simple. The way we do that is we make sure that we get him to relinquish control over the guild. And I think that's the smartest way of handling it, in my opinion. Yep, I think that makes sense because there's two rounds to this. If you're the GM and yeah. there's two co-GMs, he kicks everyone out, you kick him out, you invite everyone back, and he never comes back. Right. Yeah. Or And I guess it wouldn't be that bad because he's pretty inactive. So having an inactive co-GM is kind of the Olympus thing. So that wouldn't be too bad. It sure why is. Why don't we just it? do why don't we just report him? And then for guilt theft. And then take it that way. Uh would that actually right? work? Like, like, just put it in a ticket. It? Say this guy basically ninja'd the guild. Okay, he's supposed to be a sister guild, and now he's taking it over for himself. And he's sabotaging our shit. And then we just take it from him. That way, that way, I mean, we don't have to go through any of this other dumb shit. But, like, it's do you think that's, like, that Blizzard would do? Like, Blizzard would help with that? No. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they would. No, there's no more. <laughs> of sure. course they would! I know, they. Uh, would I, Blizzard I recognize so. that there's, like, street, like, subsets of a larger mega guild? Because, like, technically it's his guild. Yeah, like, they're, they're yeah, not going to the do guild. anything. Blizzard is not guild. going to deal with this. Like, they don't want... Do you think Blizzard really wants to get involved with the Olympus guild drama? I can't help but feel they'd probably just say, yeah, that's your they problem. Probably are, they're themselves. not going to touch that with a 10-foot pole, man. Like, there's a, that's the last thing they want to deal with. Like, oh, wow. You know, there's a guild that, you know, can't get along and they're having a bunch of trouble with people. Like, that. there's no way they're, they're going to want to deal with that at all, man. It doesn't make any sense. Of course not. They literally just tell us to deal with it ourselves. Like, so yeah. Problem. And, like, that's what we need to do, right? Is we need to deal with it ourselves. Uh, I don't think that's the solution or anything like that. You know what I mean? Uh, do you own a copyright for Olympus 4? No, as far as I know, I don't. And even if I did, it wouldn't matter because it's Blizzard's IP. So, all right. Here's what I think we do. I think we sit down, yeah. we talk to him, and we try to negotiate... Uh, him inviting me back into the guild as the guild master, and then him and Lintris being co-GMs. Yep. Uh, that sounds I reasonable. Don't think, I, that does, I mean, that's that's the preferable outcome. I just don't see him coming to the table. He left the Discord. He actually had, I mean, he had the allied, mm -hmm. allied guild GM rank on Discord, which is one of the highest ranks you can have. Yeah. He had plenty of power. He had plenty of influence. He just... He just doesn't play the game, and he didn't want to deal with it, and he also didn't want to pass it. Like, okay. if he if he was willing to relinquish anything, then he would have 
past GM or he would have disbanded the guild. But instead, he he enjoys the troll, the the reaction that we're giving him out of holding on to a zero member guild. Right. Well, so, I don't know if that's true. I, I actually, I, I don't, I don't think that's true, honestly. I, I think the fact is that he, that he's probably just overwhelmed by the situation in general. Right, and he he doesn't know what to do. I I think that's genuinely what it is. Is that he's been he's been overwhelmed by so many people coming at him and attacking him that he's gone into total defense mode and that's fine with me i we can handle a total defense mode it doesn't matter but we need to know how to approach him in a way that a way that like actually makes it happen i think there's a possibility i think it's worth trying i think yeah. the bigger risk is that he just never comes online again like, well, he's then clearly you got other shit going on. Like, then you just deserve from his GM, and yeah. that's it. Right? I mean, problem solved. And, we, and so we just have an Olympus Four in exile through this guild once Lentris is on. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Like, I, I really don't think this is a big deal at all. Like, trust me, like, the way that you deal with this kind of shit is simple. Okay? Like, the, everybody always wants something. The solution, and the thing is, you have to find out what they want, and then you give them what they want. And after that, you know, everything else is, is simple. That, that's all there is to it, man. Did this work with Olympus 9? Okay. You're right. It did not work with Olympus, Olympus 9. But at the same time, I don't think anything else would have worked either. I'm telling you. What? Reporting. Reporting always works. I mean... Well you can lie to GMs. You can get a stupid uh -huh. GM that'll believe you. You can't get a hand stupid it over. GM. That's true. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's our the the highest chance of success is just to report and hope that we get a dumbass GM that's mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, well here you go, and then we get the we, we get. He control. just came online. He just came online. I see him. Okay, he messaged me back. He is not, uh, he's not happy. We're not happy either. What the fuck? We want the guild. He's being a little baby. He says Let's he doesn't want to be on stream. Okay, then mute the fucking stream like you did the other day. People were spamming him with, like, uh, harassing in-game so mail messages. You can ignore yeah, mail. Just, just, just letting you know, you don't have to click on mail. I can be a pretty good negotiator. Maybe I can have a chat with them. No. Okay. No. I mean, just a suggestion. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, as far as like using the, you know, the kill yourself thing against them. Look, as far as Blizzard's aware, uh, you know, this isn't this isn't happening. I mean. You just haven't taken the time to report him yet. That's all. You're just, you just, uh, you're gonna report him later if he doesn't do what we say. It's true. It's true. I could say that uh, this, this guy told my son to kill himself, and I'm a very concerned mother. And uh, my son has a history, and this is really triggering for him. I'll be, I'll be your son in, in in this scenario if needed. Okay. I'm, I'm negotiating with him right now. We're figuring this out right now. I'm going to try to bring him into a second channel and then talk to him there. Uh, I, I, I want to All see right. if this is going to work. I, I don't know yet. He doesn't want to talk to anybody else except me. All right, so... He says he's, report, he's reported and opened several tickets. Um, I'm asking him to send me the screenshots... Because he has screenshots of people that have apparently been harassing him in Olympus 4. Yeah, this is going to rapidly become mutually issue of destruction. There's a bunch of other screenshots, too. What do you mean? As in, oh shit, that he said as he was blowing up the field. Now. They're in the officer channel. Uh, Ray okay. posted them. Alright, let me look at him. Oh my, oh my god. Well, Monka W. That's not a good reaction. What the fuck is this? There's like 20 messages here. 
Yeah, and some of it's not stream friendly, so I wouldn't pull that up on stream. Oh no, that is definitely not stream friendly. Oh my god. There's some gamers in that chat. There are some there are some veteran gamers in that chat. Oh my god. Okay, just give me a second. Let me let me go ahead and look at some of these myself, okay? Let me message him and see what he says, okay? Um Okay, first message here. LOL, the best part is actually don't give two shits. I couldn't care if we raid. If we don't, if everyone leaves, it doesn't affect me in any way whatsoever. I find it more amusing than anything that people are so serious about it all. And then this is whenever he starts kicking. He starts kicking out all of the officers. Removing inactives and some toxic people sending me mail. All because of one person. Okay. Wow isn't my life. I'm only here for fun. If you want a raiding guild, there's plenty around. Okay. Um. Holy shit. So now he's promoting more people into the guild. So wait, did he kick all the level 60s out of the guild? He kicked everyone out of the guild. There's yeah, one person left everyone. and it's him. He kicked 900 plus people out of 04. Wait, uh, Shadow Sue uh, whispered me. Okay, what do you say? He's, he said, I might tell you to kill yourself again. Yeah. Good luck with that. I have my chat logs recorded for last night. I can report all of you too. Not me, because I did nothing wrong. I'm playing Horde, man. See, so, like, this I just is... sent you some additional screenshots. It proves that no one said anything non-TOS against him, and well, it also I'm... proves that, yeah, there's probably shit that's going on in his head. No, I'm sure that people could have PM'd him bad stuff. You really think that it's out of their own possibility that I have a 900-person guild, somebody didn't PM something bad? I yeah, mean, like, what are the... Not in guild chat, anyway. Yeah, yeah, in guild chat, sure. But, like, what, what kind of mental capacity does it take to get someone to PM you something bad and then kick 900 people out of the guild? It's like, a, it's like it's a three matter... button presses to kick someone out of the guild. That is so much effort. There's like 2,700 button presses. That guy sure knows how to press people's buttons. Well, he sure knows how to press buttons. Yeah. Let me message him. Alright. Wait, put me on ignore. Oh, God. What? I can't believe that happened. What? No way, dude. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm a real window licker, don't get me wrong, but like, this guy licks way more windows than me, 100%. If uh, Free Hong Kong's looking for a guild, Olympus Five's recruiting. Okay. Hey McConnell, do you want to play Mario Kart? L let's focus on this before we focus on Mario Kart, okay? Like, let's. Okay. Okay. This is. All right. I I'm trying to message him. Just get him to G invite me, okay? Like that. That's the goal. Oh, okay. So. We'll see, uh, we'll see what he says, okay? All I want to do, all right, here's my goal, guys, is that my goal is to get our, G our guild back. Because I don't want to make Olympus Forsaken. That's a joke. It's the same with Olympus, like, Olympus 9. How many people are online in Olympus 9? Who? Olympus. We, uh, moved all the Olympus 9 members to Olympus 5. Well, there's still a lot of people that, for some reason, are still in Olympus Nine. Like, I don't know why. I think they're actually following Jigsaw. Like, I, 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 I yeah, those are all those are all Jigsaw followers. Because at one point, is... everyone was kicked from Nine, so everyone knew is a Jigsaw boy. So they they've actually gone out of their way to join and be part of Jigsaw's guild. Yes, yes. I think I'm at a certain point, that. like, how big does Jigsaw's guild get have to get before we recognize mm -hmm. it? And actually, this is relevant. We have okay. to resolve this full thing soon because Jigsaw is poaching people from Olympus 4 as they come on. I think we could unite with Jigsaw to fight Shadow Sue. 
Okay, this guy's messaged me back. All right. Um, okay. All right, we'll see what he says. This could this could still work itself out. All I need to do is get invited over to the guild. That's it. I just need to get invited over to the guild, and then the problem is solved. Uh, let, let's see if I can do that. Uh, let's see. Jigsaw is Spartacus, and Olympus is Rome. No, listen, if, if that's what we have to do, we'll deal with that. But I would prefer to just sit there and talk to him and work things out. Well, I, I, I like, I, I'm, I can negotiate with people, right? I can do that. But like this other shit, I don't really know about. That's the concern that I have, okay? I don't want to join Squad W, okay? Like, I do not want to join Squad W. Okay, just a second. All right, so he's, we're not, I don't know, McConnell, what do you think I should do, man? Is he going to give it over? I don't know yet. Okay. We'll just do what I told you to do. What's if he that? doesn't give it over, we, we do the report thing. Yeah. And then we do mutu mutually assured destruction. Okay. We're not going to get the, the guild. Yeah. But he doesn't, he doesn't play WoW anymore, basically. Or he just gives you the guild and then everybody fucks off and we can keep talking about Volpera. So if you weren't happy with the, the Forsaken name, uh, what I was saying is that we could move the people from Olympus 4 to Olympus 5, because Olympus 5 currently has, like, 20 people ready to raid, and Olympus 4 had about 20 people ready to raid. So we could uh, form a combined raid team. Yeah, this is the bit where we want to know. Be able to do that. Yeah. Okay. You want to know what Lenstress wants to do? Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think he's going to get permabanned either if, if we report him. So, like, I don't even think that's a very good... That's, like, a good plan to begin with. Like, as, as like, as interesting as this is, I really don't think this is what's going to happen then. I want to do... Listen, can't all shit together? You shouldn't raid? No, listen, we will hold... We're holding it together right now. What do you mean? Like, everything's fine. Like... The prop. See, I think you guys made a huge mistake by pressuring this guy into giving up GM. I think that by doing that, it made him extremely defensive and he felt attacked. And because of that, he's acting out badly. And if you had not done that and just let me approach him instead, and you could have asked me to just let him transfer to GM, he would have done it without having any of these problems. You've completely escalated this situation to the point to where it's irrecoverable. And it's completely you guys' fault, right? The thing is, is you have to understand that you're dealing with people that can always be mentally unstable or weird or dumb. And what well, just one second. Pax Trash, thank you very much for the 30 gifted community subs. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I really fucking appreciate it. Thank you very, very fucking much. Thank you so much, Pax Trash. Like, I'm just trying to... If I did... Yeah, I, Go ahead. I, I think the main issue is the amount of time that he went off the grid for. Like, not, it wasn't a matter yeah. of who should contact him. It's a matter that no one could. And so as time went on, people pretty reasonably got increasingly dissatisfied as they wanted to see progress. So how about this as an interim solution, assuming he doesn't give it up in the next five minutes? So the discussions there are going to be ongoing with him. There's a possibility of merging with other guilds right. that we want the nominated GM who will be online sooner later today to really discuss that and determine that that's what he wants to do. So in the meantime, it would make sense to have a, gov a government in exile for Olympus 4. If, it de if it's decided that we merge, we merge. If Lentris wants to yeah. hang in there and push for recovery of the original guild, then we can take that route. Okay. Here's what I think that we do. I think that we sit down, I want to talk to him off stream. And if he's not willing to come to an agreement, because he's still messaging me. Like, the only thing is that I just want... I, I just want the GM back, right? That's the only yeah. thing. I want yeah. to get the guild back. That is the only goal. But you guys need to understand that it was a huge mistake to have pressured him into doing this. I just don't think it was ever going to end any other way. Once you've got a critical mass of people, you're going to have enough of a minority that are going to do whatever the hell they want. No, because you guys were promoting it. 
should have dealt with it privately. Like promoting what? Promoting, like, removing him as a GM and having him step down and everything. Of course, that's going to put him in an adversarial position. Of course, that's going to make him defensive. Of course. Of course that was going to happen. What do you mean he is an adversary? G yes, but you don't want to treat him like that because then if you treat him like that, he'll act like it. He yeah. was already acting like it. What, what the fuck you... What are you talking about? He logs in and says, Ooh, people send mean things in the mail. And then he fucking kicks people. But why did they send mean things in the mail? Why did they send mean things in the mail? Because they were promoting it. People say mean shit all the time to everybody. Do you think they would have just randomly this. sent him a mail? Like, no. It was because they were discussing it constantly every day in guild chat, and it was getting people riled up. Like, duh. Look, if he can't handle a little heat as a guild master, that's his fault. It doesn't he matter go on whose a fault. Kicking spree you're and McConnell, hold the guild you're right. You're right about all what you're saying. You're right about everything. But here's the situation: is that he is the GM, and we need to deal with it regardless. It doesn't okay, matter. Well, don't treat him like a little fucking, you know, princess. Saying, guys, it was a huge mistake, and and. I wish this never should have... Look, he's acting like an asshole. You don't treat assholes like they're princesses, okay? It's not about him being an asshole or not. I don't care about how I have to treat somebody. I don't care about any of this. I have one goal, and that's get the guild back. I don't care whose dick I have to suck for it. I don't care what I have to say. I don't care what I have to do. It doesn't matter. My goal is retrieving the guild and getting the guild back for our team.